In this video, I'll help you get started using the GPS and training features on the Timex Ironman 1 GPS Plus, a sports watch that features a touchscreen with the ability to swipe between screens, which you do by placing your finger on the screen and then swiping. Let's start by pressing this lower left button, which brings you to this home screen. You'll see six icons. To go for a run, head outside and tap the runner icon. The watch will immediately start searching for a GPS signal. The orange circle will begin to spin. When the GPS is found, the center circle will light up full. There's a couple of things you can do from this main screen before your run. If you tap stats, you can pull up three customizable screens which you can swipe between with your finger. Stats 1 features four screens of data. Stats 2 has three, and Stats 3 has two screens of data. To change any of these options, just tap it and you'll get a drop down with up to 20 options to choose from. When you're ready, press X to back out to the main screen. To pair your Bluetooth heart rate strap or foot pod, tap sensors and tap either icon to sync. Foot pod capability is coming soon. Under workout, you have more great options. You can choose a straight up run, indoor or outdoor, a run based on a designated time, distance, even set up an interval with or without a warm up and cool down or simply record a walk or hike. It's all right here under the workout feature. The live track option allows designated members of your contact list to track you for that specific run. Once you press start for your run, your contacts will get an email with a map showing exactly where you are on your run with real time metrics. Now from this main screen, you can swipe right to see four more screens as indicated by these boxes at the bottom. Your second screen shows your history. The menu button here on the left is a list of all your saved workouts. The center is metrics from your last workout and the trophy icon here on the right will show all of your current records on that device. Swipe again to set pace and heart rate alerts. The fourth screen is where you get your basic settings for your GPS. The count to start allows you to establish a countdown before your workout if you want. Auto lap allows you to set up laps by time and distance, miles or kilometers. Auto pause can automatically pause the watch if you drop below a certain pace or stop altogether. For example, if you come to a stoplight, the watch will pause and then start up again when you begin running. Auto stats can give you specific feedback such as an audible alert when you reach designated goals like time, distance, pace, and heart rate. Data upload shows your last workout and whether or not it was uploaded successfully. The final screen is your basic user information. Tap on the individual screen to change the data for that user. Once you're ready to run, swipe left back to the beginning and tap start. During your run, you can swipe between your customized screens. When you're done, press pause, then stop. You can either delete your workout, look over your workout details, or upload it to Strava, MapMyFitness, RunKeeper, and others. For more information on using and training with your Timex Ironman 1 GPS Plus, visit Timex.com forward slash one.